Stuart Kaminsky's Hollywood Private Eye from the 1930s, 40s, and 50s, Toby Peters. Hi, I'm Gary Lovisi, and this time we're going to take a look at Kaminsky's Toby Peters series of 24 books, and um, they all take place in Hollywood from the 30s to the 50s. Um, Kaminsky was a uh, not only a, a, a writer and mystery crime novelist, he was also a professor of uh, film and uh, a film historian, and he loved Hollywood movies, and all of that comes uh, into fruition in his uh, Toby Peters books. Toby Peters is a hard-boiled private eye, but he's got a soft spot for, for people. He's a, he's a really good guy. He's got a brother on the police force who's a bigger, older brother who, who's a kind of a nasty guy and uh, kind of sometimes beats up Toby. And um, the, he's a, he's a, he helps him sometimes and he hurts him sometimes. And so this is where Toby has a has the uh, feelings for the underdog and always wants to try and help out people that are in trouble. And in this, in this series, um, the, um, Toby is uh, helping Hollywood stars. He's working for the um, film companies and the Hollywood studios whenever there's difficulties come up with actors and actresses and things, of which there seems to be a lot of cases of uh, all this kind of uh, situations. And everybody who's anybody is in a Toby Peters book. Um, Kaminsky uh, did great stories on, on all the stars of, uh, of yesteryear, and they're all in here. So the first one was uh, Bullet for a Star, and that was, um, that, was the, that was Kaminsky's first book in 19... It's a hardcover in 1977 by St. Martin's Press. This is the first paperback by uh, Jove Books in 1978. Bullet for a Star is uh, about Errol Flynn. Uh, what happens is there's some compromising photos of Flynn with a, uh, appears to be an underage girl, and um, uh, Toby Peters has to uh, investigate the case. And in the case is also, uh, and in the back cover, there's a Maltese Falcon. There's uh, Bogart, Sidney Greenstreet, Peter Lorre, and um, uh, I forgot who the actress was that was in uh, in, in the Maltese Falcon. But um, in that uh, in in this story, that also uh, comes to to a part of the part of the story. And um, Errol Flynn is involved with uh, with um, his unsavory characters. This, that's the first uh, book in the series, the sec uh, in the uh, reprint. Um, they were then published by Mysterious Press, and this is a, one with a John Jinks cover, Bullet for a Star. And then later on, Mysterious published them with, um, with Joel Iskowitz covers. I'll show you those. But uh, this one is by Tom McKevery. And this is all Bullet for a Star, the first Toby Peters book. And um, really good, really, really good story. Uh, captures uh, Errol Flynn and his, uh, his style of, uh, of action and adventure and uh, his womanizing really well. And Toby Peters is involved in a, in a really uh, harebrained, crazy case that's uh, very interesting. Hard boy, private eye. It's really good detecting and fun. And these books are really a lot of fun. And if you like Hollywood and movies and, and, uh, and, and the stars of Hollywood from the 30s to the 50s, you're going to love these books. The second one is uh, Murder on the Yellow Brick Road, which, of course, is, uh, has to do with, a, uh, with the Wizard of Oz. And uh, one of the Munchkins is murdered, and there's, uh, he has to uh, investigate that, uh, that, that murder, which is on the set of, uh, of the film, with, uh, and he gets involved with Judy Garland and uh, other, other people. On that, on that story, uh, the third book in the series, and there's 24 books in the series. Um, I have uh, I have 18 of them. The last few I don't have, and these are just the paperbacks. They originally were hardcovers. The third book is uh, is You Bet Your Life, and it's about the Marx Brothers. Toby is helping out. Chico Marx, who uh, 
it seems has been, has a gambling problem, and he was known to be a gambler uh, in in real life, and um, this has uh, Chico Marx in it and and, and Harpo and uh, and, uh, and and of course Groucho. So that's the third book in the series. This is the Charter edition that came out in around 1980, and this is the uh, Mysterious Press edition with the Tom McEverney cover. It came out around 1990. The Howard Hughes Affair is, this is the Charter edition from 1980, and this takes place in 1941 with the young billionaire Howard Hughes. It also has Basil Rathbone, who uh, is playing Sherlock Holmes, and they're, they're involved in that case. It's the Howard Hughes Affair. Never Cross a Vampire. Bella Lugosi is, uh, is, in, is uh, involved in Never Cross a Vampire. Toby Peters is trying to uh, help, help a case. Uh, somebody is sending him, sending uh, Bella Lugosi uh, threatening letters written in blood. And the suspect is a uh, up-and-coming Hollywood screenwriter that's really nobody heard of yet called William Faulkner. High Midnight is the next book in the series, and it takes it has a, a case that involves Gary Cooper and Ernest Hemingway. He done her wrong. Um, another classic, uh, classic book in the series. Kind of Sherlockian. It's uh, May West, and also. Um, also has uh, Cecil, Cecil B. DeMell. Catch a Falling Clown is a... starts off with a murdered elephant, then five, the five flying toucanies are tragically r reduced to three. Summoned by the great clown Emmett Kelly, Detective Tommy Peters is confronted by an assortment of suspects, and this includes uh, it's Murder at the Circus, and Alfred Hitchcock is involved in this one, also. The next one is uh, Down for the Count, about the great Joe Lewis, boxer Joe Lewis. The next one after that is The Man Who Shot Lewis Vance, and this involves John Wayne, and um, John Wayne and Charlie Chaplin. Toby Peters wakes up in, uh, in a hotel room. Uh, he'd been knocked out, and uh, the book starts off where uh, he has a guy pointing a gun at him, and it's uh, John Wayne. And uh, from then on, he's uh, trying to help John Wayne uh, in, in a case. Um, Smart Moves is the next one, and uh, takes place in 1942. And has to do with Albert Einstein and a fifth column of Nazis in the United States during the, the World War II. Next one in the series, Think Fast, Mr. Peters, is from 1987, and that's one that I'm missing. So I don't have all of them, but I have almost all of the paperbacks uh, from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Uh, the next one is Buried Caesars, and that one has... General Douglas MacArthur, and there's a picture of MacArthur on the cover. These are, uh, this, all of these covers are Tom McKevney covers. They're really nice in the series. He did a beautiful job. MacArthur, and there's a Thin Man uh, book cover for, by Hammett. Um, next one is is Poor Butterfly, which takes place during the opera, and uh, um, the um, operatic, uh, has an operatic background. So with Madame the, Butterfly? Madame Butterfly, yeah, Puccini's Madame Butterfly, 1942, the Metropolitan Opera. The Melting Clock is another one uh, in the series, which uh, in which Salvador Dali is the uh, client for Toby, Toby Peters. 
The next one is The Lady Met a Devil. The Devil Met a Lady, actually. Uh, and it's uh, Betty Davis has been kidnapped and Toby Peters is trying to locate her. Is she the lady or the devil? Is she the devil or the late? The devil met a lady. So <laughs> she's the, yeah. And uh, I'm getting near the end of them now. The, the uh, uh, this is the 17th book in the series. It's 1938 in Hollywood and it cuts to 1943 and it's uh, Clark Gable and Gone with the Wind. So it's Clark Gable as uh, his client during the filming of Gone with the Wind. And the uh, next one after that is The Fowler Factor. And um, this, somebody has kidnapped FDR's dog Fowler. And Eleanor Roosevelt is involved with this case as a client and the two covers for the Fowler Factor. Uh, Joel Iskowitz did a lot of, uh, of these covers for the earlier uh, Mysterious uh, Press paperback editions in the 1980s. In the 1990s, these are Tom McKevney covers. Um, now I'm missing some books and I just wanna mention the ones that I'm missing. Number 19 is Dancing in the Dark from 1996. Number 20 is A Fatal Class Glass of, a Fatal Glass of Beer from 1997. 21 is A Few Minutes Past Midnight from 2001. 22 is To Catch a Spy, 2002. Number 23 is Mildred Pierced from 2003. And the last one, Now You See It from 2004. Those are the Toby Peters books by Stuart M. Kaminsky. Terrific, terrific entertainment. If you like Hard Boiled Private Eye, cop police procedural, and all the flavor of Hollywood, uh, classic Hollywood movies, classic Hollywood stars, actors and actresses, and the glamour of Hollywood and the ugly underside of Hollywood. You'll, uh, you'll love these books. Um, Stuart Kaminsky was, uh, again, he wrote 24 books in the series, and um, he uh, was born in 1934 and, and passed away in 2009. His last uh, Toby Peters' book, the 24th, was Now You See It in 2004. So he continued the series for many years. He was a uh, film historian, a film buff, uh, a, a professor of film at, uh, in, at, co at a college, and uh, was uh, a person who uh, really uh, loved movies, classic movies, and it all comes through in these books. These are really fun to read. Um, you got to give them a try if you don't if you haven't uh, haven't uh, ever uh, come across them uh, you'll really enjoy them a lot and uh, just want to thank you again for looking please uh, share this video and give us a thumbs up and thanks for looking see you next time